Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus x times f of x over 2x minus 1 equals 1. And we're going to try to find an expression for f of x. Now we would like to find f of x. So let's see if we can get something like that from here. So first of all, I'm going to show you the next steps, uh, why I'm taking those steps. So I'm going to do a little bit of explaining. So let's go ahead and replace x over 2x minus 1 with another variable. How about t? Let's see. Now let's see what that means. x over 2x minus 1 equals t. From here, if you cross multiply, you get x equals 2xt minus t. Now, I want to solve for x. So let's go ahead and put all the terms that have x in them on the same side and put the t on the left hand side. So we end up with something like this, t equals 2xt minus x, and then I can go ahead and take out an x here and end up with 2t minus 1. And since I'm trying to solve for x, it makes sense if I divide both sides by 2t minus 1. So this means if x over 2x minus 1 is equal to t, or if t is equal to x over 2x minus 1, then x is equal to 2 over 2t minus 1. So notice that they have the same type of structure. The only difference is they switch around, which shows us that this is a function whose inverse equals itself. So that's kind of nice. But obviously, we want to stick with f of x, and we want to solve this problem using the same variable. And it doesn't matter which variable you will use, because you can always replace x with t, t with x, whatever you want. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace x with x over 2x minus 1. And you can easily check that the inverse of this function is itself. Now, my original equation was f of x plus x times f of x over 2x minus 1 equals 1. Now I'm going to replace x with this here, here, and here. Okay? If you do, you get f of x over 2x minus 1 plus x over 2x minus 1 multiply by f of now that's kind of like a complicated expression let's go ahead and replace x with x over 2x minus 1 everywhere 2 times x over 2x minus 1 and then minus 1 here and the whole thing should equal 1. So let's go ahead and simplify this and, again, and then I'm going to use this along with the original equation. So to simplify here inside the parentheses I, I can kind of take out that expression and write it as x over 2x minus 1 divided by, if you multiply these, you're going to get 2x. And if you make a common denominator, you're, you're going to subtract 2x minus 1 from this. So it's going to be 2x minus 2x plus 1. And that is divided by 2x minus 1. These two have the same denominator. If you flip and multiply, and the 2x is going to cancel out, we end up with x, which is actually really, really cool. So this is what we get from here. This is just going to, I'm just going to bring that down. So we're going to get f of x over 2x minus 1 plus x over 2x minus 1 multiply by f of x equals 1. After the substitution uh, with x being replaced with x over 2x minus 1. So that is an equation that we got after uh, the substitution. And what is my original equation? It is f of x plus x times f of x over 2x minus 1 equals 1. Now, I got a system, and notice that in this system, if you don't worry about the x values, we have two unknowns. One of them is f of x. Let me go ahead and mark them for you. And the other one is f of x over 2x minus 1. This one and this one. Okay, so my goal is to solve for f of x, so it makes sense if I can get rid of the f of x over 2x minus 1, so I'm going to be using basically elimination. And since the coefficient of f of x over 2x minus 1 is x here, I'm going to multiply the top equation, or the first equation, by negative x, and then add these two equations, and we'll use the method of elimination. Okay, let's go ahead and see how that works out. I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative x, by negative x. So let me go ahead and write it this way first. 
and then I'm going to distribute it. So, and of course, I have to multiply by negative x on both sides. Let's go ahead and simplify this, and then now we're going to come back to our original equation one more time. So, if you distribute this, you're going to get negative x times f of x over 2x minus 1. And then negative x times positive x is going to give us negative x squared over 2x minus 1. That is multiplied by f of x. And on the right-hand side, we should be getting negative x. Great. What are we going to do next? We're going to go back to our original equation, which was this one. So we're going to rewrite it. f of x plus x times f of x over 2x minus 1 equals 1. Awesome. Now this is a system that we can solve by elimination, like I said earlier. So let's go ahead and add these equations up. These two terms are going to cancel out leaving us with something like this, f of x minus x squared over 2x minus 1 times f of x equals negative x plus 1, or I can write it as 1 minus x. Pretty cool, right? Now, the rest is easy because all I have to do is take out f of x and then, you know, just divide both sides by whatever it is, uh, something appropriate, so we can isolate f of x from here. All right, great. So let's go ahead and finish it up, and then I will also give you an alternative method, which is not recommended, but anyways, I'll just talk about it real quick. So let's go ahead and take out f of x here, factor out. We get 1 minus x squared over 2x minus 1, and the result is 1 minus x. Now, obviously, we want to simplify this first before we divide both sides by that. So you're going to get 2x minus 1 minus x squared divided by 2x minus 1. And that is 1 minus x. Now we can just go ahead and divide both sides by this quantity or multiply by the reciprocal, which is going to give us the following. So f of x can be written as 1 minus x times the reciprocal of what multiplies f of x on the right hand side, which is going to be 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 minus x squared. So we can kind of put this, uh, you know, in a slightly nicer way, I guess. So we can go ahead and do the following. We can multiply 1 minus x times 2x minus 1. And then the bottom is just going to be as is. But now, after we distribute the top, we should be getting something like this. 2x minus 1 minus 2x squared plus x divided by 2x minus 1 minus x squared. And then if I go ahead and rearrange the terms, negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 divided by negative x squared plus 2x minus 1. Obviously, I don't want my both of my terms to start with a negative sign, so I can go ahead and negate the top and the bottom at the same time. And that gives me 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 2x plus 1, which can also be written as x minus 1 quantity squared. So that's one way to look at it. And obviously, there's another way to look at the problem, which, again, is not recommended. Instead of getting rid of the f of x over 2x minus 1, you can eliminate f of x, which is kind of ridiculous, but you can do it, and then find f of x over 2x minus 1, and then from there you can find f of x by replacing x with x over 2x minus 1, which is the inverse of the same function. Anyways, that's kind of like a roundabout way to do it, and I don't think anybody will go for that, but this is basically what we do. And if you plug it into the original problem, you'll see that it actually works. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.